Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Shantae Marie and I am a lifestyle vlogger here on YouTube. I strive to show you guys my life one video at a time in hopes that it will help you in some way, shape, or form. So without further ado, let's jump right into the topic of this video. answering a really popular question that I've been getting recently and I'm sure it's because like graduation is happening for most people right now but basically I get asked all the time how can I study for the ASVAB test because I'm getting ready to retake it or I want to retake it and I've already failed it in the past so I want you to not freak out right now because just because you have failed it in the past or recently failed it or feel like you're just lost in the sauce, it's okay. I have three hacks that I feel like really may help you to overcome this feeling right now. You want to make sure that if you failed the ASVAB before, you get those results. So your recruiter, when you went to MEPS, probably got a piece of paper with your ASVAB scores on them. And those scores are going to have those line scores on them. And it's going to say exactly what you got in each category. And you should definitely look at that and really hone in on what categories you didn't do so hot in. Um, if it's like the whole entire test, then at least you know like, okay, I need to study everything. Uh, I just know like a lot of people fail and are just like, eh, I failed and then they go on about their life. But it's like, they're given that piece of paper for a reason. And if, you, if they're not trying to help you or your recruiter just acts like you're never going to be in the military or something because of your score, like don't give up just because of that. They, they have a lot on their plate with other recruits as well. Like you're not the only person. So don't take that the way that they are about it to heart. You should really just think to yourself, this is what I want to do and focus on you and what you can do to get better. So hack number two is going to be to make sure that you understand how the ASVAB works. I've talked about this in another video, which I'm going to link it up here for you guys. Make sure that you check it out after you finish this video or just freaking click on it right now. But I explain in that video what every single section of the ASVAB consists of. So I'm just going to throw this out there as an example real, real quick for you guys. But say you had mathematics knowledge. I can't even remember if that's actually a category. But uh, mathematics knowledge might be made up of three subsections, like word comprehension, paragraph comprehension, and something else. Those three areas may make up the line score for mathematics knowledge. That whole entire thing that I just said was completely made up off the top of my head. Like, I haven't focused on this in so long. Go check out my video. It literally tells you every single category and it also tells you what score you need to get or like how many questions you can get right and wrong in order to get a 110 GT score. And a 110 GT score is because one of the lines on the ASVAB test is GT. If you get a 110 in that or higher, you literally can do like any job you want in the military. So check out Check out that whole entire series, but make sure that you go there to make sure that you understand what the ASVAB consists of. Because if you don't understand how the ASVAB works, it's, it's going to be very difficult to pass it. Okay, so my third and final hack for you guys, I feel like this is something that nobody here on YouTube really touches on. And I don't know why I haven't said it sooner, but I have been telling a lot of people when they message me to try and find a teacher. Uh, if you have the capability of going back to your high school math teachers, or if you're in college and you're able to go talk to a math teacher at your school, or there's like a free tutoring option, I recommend going and talking to them. Now, I understand not everybody has that possibility, but y'all have access to the internet because y'all are watching this video right now. And when I was in college, I used a website called Chegg. 
let me just say I am no way shape or form sponsored by them but your girl had to do what she had to do to get books and stuff cheaper and Chegg was my route my way to go when you would rent a book on there it would tell you we have tutors specific to this textbook or classes that use this textbook well then after I graduated I still get emails from Chegg all the time and because you can just buy books from them and I love I love reading um, but I did notice that they have tutors on there for literally everything like not if if you're not in school it doesn't it doesn't freaking matter you can get on there and get a tutor for whatever you need so there is a whole ASVAB section on this website your first session of tutoring is completely free so what I recommend doing is doing your practice tests and if there are portions of the tests that you just cannot understand hone in on what those portions are and make a list of questions and use the tutoring on this website your first session is free and ask them how do I solve these answers they saved me so much money in college so I trust everything that they bring to the table I've used the tutors for books that I had for my master's degree they've helped me write papers um, there is so much knowledge that they can bring to you and my ASVAB refresher course that I took was actually taught by a junior college so it makes sense to use Chegg because that's the closest thing to using an actual college without having to pay for it that you can get so that is tip number three I need to stress about something like that it will come if you have more questions you guys know where to find me I always have my social media links right here for you guys so make sure that you hit me up and I will see you guys in my next video